still working on today is if you guys saw a couple weeks ago we installed the inverter multi plus uh, sorry the victron inverter multi plus and so now what we're going to do today is we're going to install this servo gx um the cool thing about i like about these victron products is this is going to kind of set up as our uh, central power system for the whole boat so we're going to end up we have the inverter and then we're going to install a servo gx which is a basically a monitor and links everything together so when we get into adding solar power um, generator all that stuff this will show us uh, input power coming in power coming out um, it lets us really monitor everything going on because uh, once we're off mainland we're really gonna have to conserve power so this is this is a really cool system that connects to our phone c connects to the computer and uh, we can really fine-tune our energy system so um, I'm gonna kind of run through installing this real quick uh, these don't actually come with instructions online um, so they're or sorry they do come with instructions online they don't come with anything in the box and so I found uh, found very vague data to set it up so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick install. This thing hooks up pretty quick and show you what we got. Um, first thing, this thing does not come with a cable. So it was really unclear of how to connect um, the servo to the MultiPlus. Um, and what you need is you need this RJ, let's see if I can do this from memory, RJ45 cable. Um, it's basically just an ethernet cable is what it looks like, but I went ahead and ordered their cable. Um, you can get it in different sizes depending on how close you're mounting this. We're going to mount it right in here. And the reason, if you watch a couple weeks ago when I installed this, the reason it's kind of mounted in the middle of the box is we're going to end up installing, uh, the servo is going to go here and then I'm going to put my solar controllers in here. Um, and all, every little add on we're going to, we're going to end up adding a bunch of stuff in here. And this will end up be kind of my, I'm actually gonna even weather strip the outside of it. This is gonna be my kind of little uh, electric center. I didn't want to put it in the engine bay with all the heat and everything. So this is gonna be my electric center. And then down here goes to the build journey. So that'll cool, keep all this pretty cool all the time. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed. All right, so I went ahead and mounted this to the wall real quick and i plugged it in and when you plug it in you'll see your bluetooth and wi-fi leds flashing um that's normal it means they're not hooked up basically in basic terms and then so now i'm going to route this cable into the multi plus so when you hook this up you want to hook up you see all these down here you want to hook up to the ve bus there's a few different options there's ve can bms can you want to go to the ve bus it doesn't matter which one you do just hook to one so i'm going to hook to the nearest one here so i can keep it kind of clean all right so i ran that blue cable again went from the ve bus and you pop the cover off the inverter Or you can see we got two plugins here again they're the same so you can plug it in either or so I just routed it around and I throw all right so I got the servo installed I mentioned I had to order a shunt so what the shunt does is you put it in between your battery grounds you basically would essentially I don't have to but you would cut your ground cable and put the shunt in between and so it's a measuring device for your battery voltage. So what's, um, sorry, it'll measure load coming in and out of your batteries. So I'm gonna end up using the shunt to tie into the servo. So that'll kind of be another part element of this system. And that will show me usage on the DC side, um, what's going in and out of the DC batteries, as well as the servo's already hooked into the inverter. So it's it's monitoring the AC input output. So it's just, just again, we're trying to, I'm trying to set the system up so I can monitor all aspects. Eventually we're gonna add solar and we'll, we'll tee that in. So the servo be kind of becomes the cent center point of all of that. So essentially with this guy, the battery cable, the ground battery cable will come up through here and you basically snip it, put new ends on it, and then it goes through here. So this will measure the current going through that ground. Now this one's actually, because I call it a smart shunt, um, it is actually Bluetooth. It's got this little circuit board on the side here. 
and it's Bluetooth straight to your phone. So if you just wanted to monitor your batteries through your phone, you could um, just off this for the DC side. I'm actually gonna use the route of using this VE direct cable and that way I could run a cord, which will be this guy, you have to order separately. It's a VE direct to VE direct and that will plug in, manually plug this in to the servo um, and then it'll add to that part of the system. Uh, and then as well, so basically this guy, like I said, will just put it in line to the ground. I'll show you that there. And then right here where it says, anyways, it says V battery plus, you just run a positive wire right there just to ignite this basically. So I mean, it's pretty well labeled. Um, so I'll get that installed and then I'll show you from there. So it's a little messy, but you can see here, there's already a shunt in here for the old system. So that's why I say it left out. Uh, generally, you're gonna have just a solid cable and you would just cut, strip, add your ends and then put it in line. So I've already got separate ends here. So I'm just gonna remove this. I'm gonna do it a little bit cleaner, but I'm gonna organize it a little too long in here. Um, and then I'll put my shunt in. All right, so I got the smart shunt hooked up uh, in line. It went pretty smooth. I didn't film it because I was just me tucked down in that hole, so you weren't gonna see anything anyway. So um, I'm gonna zoom in and show you that, and then show you how I wire up to the servo. Um, and then I will show you. So the whole system, the whole thing with this system is I'm gonna run it off my phone. There's an option to run it through the Victron app. Um, and then I'm gonna add the screen here pretty soon. We weren't sure if we we're gonna do it, but I think we're gonna, at this point gonna do it. So. Um, I'll show you what I got here and then I'll kind of go through how I had to set it up. All right, so here's the shunt and you can see the battery cables go in to one side and then everything that's not your battery cable needs to be on this lug. And if you have more than just the two wires, you need to put it on a bus. And because you don't want anything coming past the shunt. All right, so I'm gonna show you here how to hook this up. So you can see here, my Wi-Fi is already hooked up. So I just do the Wi-Fi. You can use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi I think was a little smoother personally. Um, and then you're gonna download the Victron Connect app. So this guy right here. And then see, it's gonna notice the servo. And then what you wanna do, cause it wasn't very clear about this, is you wanna go to remote console down here. Okay, and then it's gonna say rotate your screen. And there we go. So you can see here, oops. So you can see here, it's inverting. We've got the AC loads coming out. So we're using 462 watts. Kids are watching TV and stuff. Um, and then you got your DC power coming out. Yeah, I know it's blurry, but uh, so you can see the wattage coming out for the DC power. That's probably the furnace and the lights gone. And then percentage of battery left. It, it kind of tells you what watts are total coming out of the battery. Um, pretty cool, so the red block would be your input power. We have no input power coming from outside the boat. And you, the cool thing I like about this is you can actually see, it shows the flow of where the voltage is going and then shows that the inverter's inverting. So then if we come pop up here, come back, we turn our shore power back on, you'll see the inverter, it's in invert mode slight delay and then I'll click over. Okay, see that's so what clicked over and now it's turned into charge mode because we put our 110 volt in. So now it's gonna charge. So we come over here, you can see now it's in bulk mode. So it's, yep, and there's the shore power right there. So the shore power, we got the wattage coming in it's in bulk. Okay, now it just clicked over absorption. That means it was going from bulk charges to now it's in essence trickle charging. And then when it gets to float, it means it's, you know, just making, they're full. So um, yeah, so you can just kind of see the power. I, I It's pretty cool. There's a whole lot of other stuff I could get into later on. Um, and then when we add our solar and stuff, it'll start populating those different outputs, input outputs here. So this will just keep growing as the system grows. So um we're also going to add the screen to the system we were on the fence if we were going to do that uh this i like but it's cumbersome a little to just jump on your phone you got to connect wi-fi and all that stuff to do it so i think we're going to end up doing they sell a touch screen as well 
And so I think we're gonna end up doing the wall mount touchscreen as well. And uh, that just hooks up through an HDMI cable. Um, so we're gonna probably end up mounting that on the bulkhead over here. Um, but other than that, super happy with it. Uh, everything hooked up great and no complaints so far. Uh, so the, the whole reason we're doing this is power consumption. I mean, when we're out in the water, we're gonna be trying to save our power. And the cool thing about this is this is will help with like stuff being left on. Um, it'll help us isolate our big drains, but also, you know, in the evenings when we shut stuff down to conserve power, uh, we can, there might be stuff that we left on, but if we see a bigger draw, we might end up turning off. So this is just kind of a cool system just to monitor and know exactly where we're at. Um, again, with kids on the boat, it's super easy for stuff to get flipped on, left on, and that'll kill your batteries pretty quick. So, um, uh, in short, one thing I want to touch base on this is when I was ordering parts, there was a few times I ordered stuff and I wasn't sure what it was coming with. I ordered pretty much all of my stuff through Amazon and the descriptions were pretty vague on what I needed to connect these together. And so, um, We'll put a list down in the description if you, if you guys are want to do a system like this because I was having a hard time getting a straight answer. So when I bought the inverter to connect it to the servo, I needed the it's a the blue it's basically Ethernet cable. I think it's a J45. Uh, I'll have it down in the description of what it actually is. You need that to connect basically Ethernet from the servo to the inverter, and then you can't monitor without a shunt in here. So you won't be able to mount, monitor what the DC loads coming out or is without the shunt. So with the shunt, you order that, it does not come with the VE direct cable and that's a Victron cable. Uh, they have VE direct to USB, all this stuff. You just wanna do the VE direct to VE direct. So in short, those two cables, the smart shunt, the Victron Multi Plus 3000, and the servo gx is all we have so far in this system to make what you've seen here um, again really like these products everything i have to say that i've plugged in has plugged right in um fired up hasn't even hicked up so far so i mean obviously we'll update if something changes from there but so far if you're thinking about going with these guys i really like the victron product so far and they have so many different products to add to this system i think that's the part that i really like about it is it's not like you're you're just putting a bunch of different parts. I mean, I can basically, everything in the system will be Victron. I'm just gonna stay with them and go through, but uh, later on the road, we'll put more videos as we're adding stuff to the system. But so far, this is a good start. Um, next up would probably be our solar edition. Um, and then we're gonna be hooking up a generator too. And when I get that hooked up, uh, I'll show you how uh, it can monitor generator output and stuff like that. So that's it, bye.